How's it everybody? Money Shot here again and welcome back to Hawaii Craft Shooters. In this video, I'm going to talk about now one of my favorite strategies, the HP 120. And I'm going to show you a slight improvement to this strategy and also show you how I transition either to the light side or stay on the dark side. Check it out. So let's get to that small improvement I made to my HP 120, which by the way, I'm loving this hybrid system very much and I plan on using it in Vegas when I go there from December 20th to December 24th. So if you're gonna be in town, let us know. We're gonna be there. Uh, we're staying at the Cal. As you know, we play in downtown, so we're gonna be jumping properties. If you're not yet, following us on Instagram, go on our Instagram, follow our Instagram page and our Facebook page and you'll get up to date information of where we're gonna be. So um, December 20th to December 24th, Hawaii Crab Shooters will be in Vegas and I plan on trying out this HP 120 strategy. I think it'll do well, I hope it'll do well, um, but we'll wait and see and I'll definitely let you guys know how it goes. Um, but for this small improvement, I wanted to give a big thank you to my friend Vince Armenti, another YouTuber. Go check out his YouTube channel. He has a great channel, awesome content. He thinks about different things. He's like the hybrid master too, looking at hedges and looking where he can find the holes and, and how to take advantage of all of these hedge bits. Um, but go check it out, Vince Armenti his YouTube channel, he's been doing it for a while. Uh, he has a lot of great strategies, but he mentioned to me from the HP Magic, I started with $60, right, on the Don't Pass. Now going up to 120, he suggested to me in one of the comments, hey Brian, you should try the back wall, so laying the back wall. And I thought about it, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Because my Don't Pass is now at 120, uh, the laying the back wall will definitely work. So um, I, I'm liking it. I, I brainstormed it and I wanted to share with you guys my outcome of me swapping out the hopping the sevens, hopping the 11 and $2 on the 12 and just using the back wall. And there's a lot of advantages to just using the back wall. So he, let's get to the strategy. Let me show you the changes in the HP 120. Okay, so here is the major change that I'm gonna be doing. So uh, just to run it by you guys again, we're with the HP 120, we're gonna put 120, right, on the dome pass. Um, and what we did was we had used $42, 10, 20, 30, $42 to hedge this on the come out. Again, the don't pass is the best bet in the entire layout on the craps table. So, but the vulnerability is on the come out. So that's why I've been using on the HP 120, how to cover that um, which the, is with the hopping sevens, the yo 11, and two dollars on the 12. You guys remember that? Now we're gonna do something different now. Because of this $42 um, being a hefty uh, protection cost to protect the 120, my friend Vince recommended or suggested that why not try the back wall? And the back wall actually works perfect with this because of the denomination. So it didn't work well for the HP Magic because it's a smaller denomination. But now 
that we're at the 120 level, the back wall is perfect for the HP 120. All right, so let's look at the back wall. So well, a lot of you guys who don't know what laying the back wall is, is basically you're gonna take 180, 150, 160, 170, 180, and you're gonna lay each number $30 each, okay? So what this does is actually gives you hedge protection on this 120, and I'll show you how, okay? So if a seven is made, all of your lay bets will win, okay? So on a seven come out, this job of this laying the back wall is to protect the 120. What well, we're gonna get on a 10, if, well, if a seven is rolled, let me just give an example. Seven is rolled on a come out, your, the dealer is gonna pay you opposite odds, so half of this for the four and 10, so you get 15 and 15 here, you're gonna get um, one and a half odds, so you're gonna get $20 for the five and nine, right here, and then you're gonna get a quarter for the 30 here on the eight and the six. So you're gonna pay all of this, okay? You're gonna get paid this if a seven is rolled. And you're gonna lose this, but you're gonna get this. And see, how much is this? This is 15, this is 50, that's 100, $120, perfect, okay? Not so perfect yet, oh, and all of this still stays up, because you're gonna get paid this. You just gotta pay a VIG of a dollar each. That's the only thing that you're gonna be paying. So you're gonna have to pay, to get this 120, you gotta pay a tax or a VIG, they call it, six dollars. So you're gonna get six dollars from your rack and pay the, the dealer. Sometimes they'll charge you the VIG up front, so you have to put the six dollars. If a point is made now, okay? So if a point is made, what happens is, you're gonna lose whatever point is made now. So if, you, if point is six, you're gonna lose this 30 now, okay? So you lose this 30, dealer racks it up, you get all of this back, you put this back in your rack, you're down 30 now, okay? Just like the HP 120, when you're hopping here, you're down 42, but now you're just down 30. Not bad, right? So, when we play that, this goes into your rack again, but now we have 30, 30 from that mine. Remember we used to play with 120, we balanced that. Here's the 120, this is hence the hedge. So we lost technically 30, right? That's the 30 here on, on the come out because it made a point. Now we have, look how much we have to play with now. We have 75, 80, 90 dollars in regards to when we were hopping the middle, uh, middle protection, we only had 79 or 78 dollars. So now we have actually more money to play with. And that's why I like this uh, back wall protection better than the inside protection. So now what can we do with this? Okay, remember we lost 30. Um, now we have 90 left over, so we can, now build up our iron cross, right? Let's change this, 25. There you go. Now we have our iron cross set up and now we have $20. So what are we gonna do with the $20? We can now, guess what? With the six, remember the HP magic part? The magic part, we're gonna put that so we can bring down are six odds to down to four, like the five and nine. Now, if a hard six, we're, taking, we're weakening the six by take away, taking away one probability because $15 will pay us 150, will cover our don't pass bet. And we rack up a nickel. Look at that. Same thing with the eight, we just move this over. We move this to the hard eight. 
we got a nickel we're good to go we're ready for our five to six run on the shooter same thing same concept five to six shooters we make more we make money um, example on the five and nine okay five and nine let me go ahead and show you that one again the 120 hedge so this is the balance again remember we got 120 120 there 120 here we lost 30 on the come out because of the lay bet the backdoor lay now same thing we're going to set up our iron cross here we have this 25 here so we're going to get change three four five change that out we got 15 here look now we don't have to do we don't have to hop the fives we're good to go with the 15. remember we had to build the five in some of those cases now we're good to go look it's all set up that's why i like this system we have 90 dollars to play with in regards to 79 okay um on the five so if the five um, comes we don't have to cover the five but now we have this extra fifteen dollars so uh, we can actually even keep this fifteen for our pocket and we we're still covered with our iron cross um, so on the four and ten we got ninety dollars again what are we going to do same thing set up right here we got the setup four same setup we just wait up so everything is set up we have 90 dollars to play with okay i want to go back to the uh, back wall again so now you guys know when a point happens we do lose 30 dollars but it's already built in here so what we're gonna do is the let me explain the back wall again so the back wall is we're gonna tell the dealer we want to try this is this is a chore for a dealer in vegas because they gotta set it all up and then they gotta break it all down okay so it's a good idea to tip them if they're not one of your most friendliest dealers but this is how you want to set it up you're gonna put your don't pass there you're gonna tell them uh set me up 180 you drop them 180 it's good to give them specific change so it's easy for them to lay it out but you just lay it out here and let's do a scenario okay so with the two and three on the hp 120 with the inside protection uh, we didn't get full value off of the two and the three if the two and the three hit right so here in this case if a two is rolled i'm just going to use this as an example two guess what we're gonna get paid a full hundred and twenty dollars on our don't pass that's super bonus that's major extra cheese and this nothing happens here this thing still stays up because nothing happens to a lay on the two now on the three guess what we get paid another hundred twenty dollars and well I mean not another but you get paid 120 on a three as well so that's why this one is awesome in regards to the other one we was getting paid 78 we're getting full value for the two and the three okay on the 12 i'm going to skip all the box numbers because we all we just went through the box numbers on the 12 it's it's a bar 12 so nothing happens there nothing happens here so we don't have to put two dollars on the 12 now because the 12 is real good nothing's gonna happen we don't have to worry only one we have to worry about is the 11 now okay the 11 we're gonna lose 120 so here's our risk okay so two and three we're going to lose on the 11, but everything else on all the point numbers, we're going to lose 30. Uh, on the 11, we're going to lose 120. And on the 12, we're, nothing's going to happen. Okay. Here's an option you can do. You can put $10 on the yo and cover that 120. You're going to win um, 150 on there. But 
when you put a ten dollar on that yo now your 90 that you get to play with now it's going to be 80 because now you are fronting 40 dollars to play with 80 which i don't want i rather not put this 11 just open protection i mean no protection on the 11 because of this two and three so the two has one way to roll and the three has two ways to roll so there's three ways of this the two and three of winning come against the one on the 11. i have an advantage here so over time i you know i am gambling that the two and three is gonna two or three is gonna roll more times than the 11. Um, and I'm sure you guys are going to agree, I'm going to be a big favorite from that. So I'm not going to hedge the 11. I'm going to take my chances. Um, but that 120 is going to be there. But that's the beauty. Now, after the come out, like I said, if, it, if it's a 9 or 9 here, we're going to lose the 30. We're going to tell the dealer, bring us down on the lay. Okay, we put this back in our rack. We're down 30, but guess what? What do we have? We have our $90 to play with. What we're gonna do is line up our iron cross here. Let's get change. This should come down here. Line up our iron cross. So we're good to go. And we just played it out, five to six, okay? So that's the new improvement to the HP 120 okay now here also uh, we don't have to recuperate as much now so step two is how when are we going to transition so when we transition will be when we make a hundred dollars and I'm going to show you I'm going to show you why okay so you know that any hit here, we're going to get $15, um, 15 to $20, right? So I'm just going to go, just for the sake of it, 15, we got a 20, we got a 15 hit, we got a 20 hit. And we still got chances of the, the extra cheese with the 2 and the 12. But I'm just going to do it for um, time's sake. So we got one, two, three, four, five, five rolls. Cause the iron cross, any roll, we don't care. We're gonna make money. So we want to get to a hundred. Okay, three, four, five, three, four, five. We're not quite there yet. So we need one more hit, and our next hit would be let's say fifteen. So now six hits. Okay, six hits on this shooter. Okay, so how do we transition from the qualifying stage from five to six rolls to the light side? Okay, here's how we do it. So remember, our comp we had a 120 on the don't pass, right? And then we had 120 in play. We lost the 30. So we got 90 there. So we were playing... 30 on the 8, 30 on the 6, and we get change for this. 15 on the field, 15 on the 5. So now let's say 5 to 6 rolls happen. This is the waiting period. We're qualifying the shooter. And now we made $100 in our rack in profits from this iron cross. So this is in our rack. We started. 240 invested right so now what do we do okay so how we transition is we're going to use the option 70 so what we're going to do is put 70 we're going to take back this 20 so take back this 20 and we're going to play with 70 so why we take back the 20 from the 90 we got our 120 here our 120 there that's what we started with that's what came out of our bankroll so we're gonna place 70 here. Option 70, point is nine. Let's get some change. That's quarter, that's 15, and this is $10 here. Okay, now we're gonna set up 
with the 70. So we're gonna go 15 on the, 18 on the eight, 18 on the six, 15 on the five, and we have $15. We're gonna just take the four, and we have $4, we're gonna put it on the hard 10 here. That's our setup, we have 70, okay? That's how we transition. We have our 120 in our rack. We have our 120 here that we started off. This is the 70s on profit. Now, the extra step is we're gonna go light side, right? So this 120 here is gonna go into play and we're gonna put it on the nine, okay? So you ask why? Why not just take this down and go light side, right? So here's why, I'm gonna change that 120 here. Here's why, because we're gonna take advantage of the odds here, okay? If they seven out after maybe the seven, eight roll, after we get this set up, what happens? This gets paid 120, this loses, we are back to even. Now you're gonna say, well, you had $100 profit and then you lost it um, because you went on the light side. But yeah, that's the gamble I'm gonna take. I qualify this shooter, you're gonna make money. I'm hitting for that home run now. And I'm gonna take my chance on this one shooter. The thing about HP 120, it is a qualifier. So you're qualifying the shooter so that um, if they can roll five to six rolls, that's the guys you wanna bet on, that they have the best chance of rolling that monster and making that home run. So I'm okay with breaking out even, okay? So uh, I know you guys say you could've took the 100. If you take the 100, then you might as well go to the dark side. But again, we're transitioning fully to the light side. So with this 120, instead of taking, this was in our rack, instead of taking this down and then just playing with this, I'm gonna, it doesn't matter. It does, these chips in this rack is doing nothing. But here, same thing. If a seven comes, it didn't do anything. We still get our 240 back. But if the nine hits, here's the added advantage. If the nine hits uh, on a 120, so now what that will pay us is, it'll pay us 140 on the 100 right and it'll pay us 28 on the 20 dollars here look how much more we made we made 150 60 well, let me change this we now made here's our 120 right that this will lose this is our 120 that we lost there, but we made extra. We made 25, 30, 40, eight dollars extra where an opportunity to make money rather than it staying in my rack. You see what I'm saying? So that's why we're gonna take that 120 here and we're gonna place it here and we're gonna play it. So if we did win, let's say, the light side we went on the light side and then they hit the nine we got all of this extra right this is lo this loses we get our 120 plus the odds which is this we rack this up we ha now have our 240 back in our rack and now we can start we can use 15 and this is profit this is puck is off now you're completely on the light side see what i'm saying so this is awesome this is this is a good system here. I, I'm loving it. So let's do that again. 120 here. And let's try use the six and eight. <clears throat> so here's our 120 that we made because we had the 90. We took we, we made a hundred in, in profits on the iron cross. We have 20 here. We took from the 90 and we're playing with 70, right? Including this four dollars on the hard 10. Now, if the point is eight, this is gonna move here. We have, um, now we have $7 here. I would just make that five. That'll be a five on the 10. And then now we have the eight now. Okay, so now we're gonna drop this 120 again, and we're gonna put it on the eight. 
and we're gonna play the light side. Okay, what happens here again? If a seven comes out, once we set this up, we're gonna lo lose all of this. We're gonna end, it up, end up with our 240 that we started with. But if the eight hits, 120, so 120 will pay 140. So 140, let's cut this out, 110, 20, 30, 40. We get our 120 back from this, because this is gonna lose. We got this back, we made $20. Look at that, and that's an opportunity when we can place this for 18, right? And we're good to go. We rack up our 240, and we're puck is off, and we're totally light side, okay? Uh, let's try it with the 4 or 10. Set up the 120 here. This comes down again. We have 70 to play with, so we're going to do straight up... Uh, 18, 15, 18, 18, 15. We get an extra $4. We're not gonna do the 10. We're just gonna put the $4 here on the hard four just to cover it. This 120 that we made, the 100 from the Iron Cross and the 20 from the 90. And then 20 plus 70 is the 90 that was in play. We're gonna put it on 10. But now, you know what happens now, I don't have to explain it. If a seven comes here, we break out even, we get this, we started with our 240. But now, if the 10 comes, what happens? I'm not, I'm not gonna count the VIG, we get double this much, right? So we get 240, 10, 20, 30, 40. Check that out. We got our 120 back here. Right, this loses. We have our 120 here. That's our 240. Goes back into our rack. Look how much we made. We made $120 just with this opportunity. So that's why I'm not gonna take down the don't pass whenever you just place the, the money that you have on that rack on the 10. Now we have this, we can go $20 on the 10, rack the black and we're good to go. Or you can go 15 and 15, but you see what I'm saying, the 10 is gonna come off, we're good to go, we're completely light side. How awesome is this system? I love it, so, okay. Now, we're gonna transition to the dark side. So what, so what happens when the shooter makes our $100, right? Let's say the point, let's go back on nine. Let's say we had nine, we had 120 set up here. Uh, we had our $90 in play, 15 here, 15 here. Okay, now the shooter had made us $100 in this iron cross. Let me bring this down. Okay, we made it, the shooter made it. Now, but you're now you're kind of scared. Like, um, wait, I'm not too sure if the shooter is gonna roll long or the monster. His or her throw is kind of off, and and I think she got he or she got lucky getting here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go completely dark side. So if you choose the dark side, what you're gonna do is you're gonna Take these down, right? Tell the dealer, take you all down, take your field down, and then you can just place the 60 here. And, and then just rack this and then just play it out. Cause you are, you've made a decision after you qualify that shooter after five to six rolls, hey, I'm gonna take the dark side. You gotta pick a side. And if it's the dark side, just place the odds. You know, if, a, if, a, if it's the nine, um, you're gonna get paid 40 extra. You're gonna get paid 120 on the flat, $40 extra, 30, 40 extra. If you're on the six and eight, uh, you're gonna get paid 50 extra, 120 flat, 50 extra. If you're on the four and 10, you're gonna get paid 30 extra. 
That's it. You just play it like that and you just ride it out because you're banking that, you know, this guy is not going to shoot any more longer. So that's how you can transition to the dark side. Um, right now, you're going to get 120, 120 here. <clears throat> Actually, you got your 120 from, oh yeah, you got your 120 here. Actually, 130, 120 is back in your rack. You got your hundred dollars there, but you're playing the don't. You're in a stronger position right now because um, you're with the seven, and you're trying. You're you're just playing it out. So that's how you transition to the dark side. You just basically take your ninety that you had here. Now show it again. Three, four, five. It's seventy-five. 80 90 you're gonna take back your 10 20 make your rack straight and then you get an extra ten dollars here and then you just go sixty dollars on your odds and you're all set up for the dark side you sit back and you just wait no action but you just wait you because you have an intuition that the guy is gonna seven out so um i love this system man this is this is an awesome system I can't believe it, man. I'm, I'm excited to try this out. Um, the back wall is good. Uh, the, the back wall, you're gonna lose six dollars at the most on uh, on a, if a seven comes out, and then you know two and three, you're gonna win 120. Uh, just gotta be scared of the 11. After that, you're scared of the point. After five to six rolls. Uh, you're pretty much not scared of anything, you know, so different phases in here um, The purpose of this again is to qualify the shooter if they don't qualify They don't make it five to six rolls. Guess what you make Whatever you racked up right because you're gonna get paid on that 120 you get your 240 back If they make it up there up to the five to six rolls you make a decision light side or dark side I showed you how to do it and you just pick your side and you know hopefully if you pick the light side they hit that home run but by betting on people who can shoot six or more your odds of finding that unicorn 30 40 rollers is much better than betting on everyone from the start so i hope you guys like the new addition with the back wall and, and also the transition gonna use this in Vegas I'm excited I'm gonna try it out more at our Friday night practices but hope you guys enjoy this video try it out again I welcome all your suggestions if I can improve this I want to make this strategy a solid one so if you see anything any opportunities that I can improve on let me know uh, put it in the comments and thank you guys for watching Aloha and may the dice be nice